GeoQuery makes it easier to get the right geospatial data for your research. Let's explore a simple example for per capita health aid from the World Bank to states in Brazil during 2010, as shown in this graph. This is a CSV where each row is a state with its per capita aid value. Let's work backwards and see how easy it is to get data for a CSV like this from GeoQuery. We start by searching for data sets for our area of interest. Let's select Brazil to limit the boundaries in our data extraction to that country. Next, we need to pick how granular we want our subnational data to be. When you select a different level, like Admin 2 or Municipalities, GeoQuery will visualize that option for you. To keep our example simple, I'm just going to choose Admin 1 for state level data. Now we can choose from datasets which are available for Brazil. Selecting International Aid as a category, you see that there's only one available dataset, World Bank Aid. Let's start by filtering for aid projects that correspond to the health sector. Let's also add a filter for years. For this example, we will use a range of years leading up to 2010, beginning in 2006. Now we're ready to add this selection to our request. To calculate per capita aid, we also need data source for population. Searching for this, we see that there are two data sets available. Selecting the GPW v4 population data set, we can select the sum method to get the total population for each unit of analysis. Next, we choose data for 2010 and add it to our request. Now we have all the data we need for this example, so let's submit our request. Once submitted, GeoQuery will handle all the heavy lifting to filter the underlying data and merge our filtered data extractions from the aid and population data sets to a single clean output CSV. GeoQuery will send a permanent link for your data set to the email address you enter. Now we're able to submit this into the queue. It may take a little bit of time for GeoQuery to process your data extraction, so for now, I'm going to show the details from a previous request. You can find all the requests associated with your email on the past request page. When your data set is ready, your request details will include a link to a downloaded zip file with your data set CSV and accompanying documentation. In our CSV, each row has a unique ID, extracted health aid, and population data, as well as the original attributes of our boundary data. The documentation contains useful information such as column name explanations and relevant metadata. Thanks for watching. We hope that GeoQuery helps you do great research. Please email or tweet us if you have any questions.